Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of grammar lesson. Uh, today we are going to be learning about clauses, adverb clause and now clause. Clauses. A clause is a part of speech consisting of a verb and a subject and functions as an adjective, an adverb or a noun. We know that we have two types of clauses that are dependent clause and independent clause. Dependent clause are incomplete ideas that cannot stand by their own as a simple sentence. And independent clause are complete ideas that can stand by their own as a simple sentence. We need to know how to identify them. Dependent clauses are introduced by a relative pronoun or subordinate conjunction. And independent clauses can extend the meaning without the dependent clause. We have here an example. My mother was angry because I forgot to turn off the light. If we erase this part because I forgot to turn off the light, we need we know that this still remains the sense. It makes sense by their own this group of words and then then these are the independent clause because it doesn't need more information to be complete. But if we just have this part, because I forgot to turn on the light, it, it is not a complete idea. And also, we can identify that here we have a coordinated conjunction introducing the dependent clause that is because I forgot to turn on the light. And now, an adverb clause. Adverb clauses are dependent clauses that function as an adverb in a sentence that can modify or describe verbs adjectives and adverbs. It elaborates when, where, why, how, how much, or under what condition action takes place in the sentence. An adverb clause can be introduced by subordinate conjunction depending on the idea. If we want to give a reason, we introduce the adverb clause with the conjunction because or since to make contrast, auto with is to express condition if, as long as, to express time, use when, while, to express purpose, so that, to make a comparison as in the comparative air then. Now we have here an example. I will cook the dinner when she gets home. I will cook the dinner when she gets home. When she gets home, here this is an, an adverb clause that is more when the bird will cook because it's telling you when this this action will will take place and what where when we will it ha when will it happen. Uh, it will happen when she gets home. So the adverb clause is telling the time when he will cook the dinner. Now we have here noun clauses. A noun clause is a dependent clause that works as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence, an object, or a complement. As a noun clause is introduced with a conjunction, and these are, these are the most common: that, which, who, whom whose, what, if, whether, when, where, how, why, whoever, whenever, whatever, whatever, and whichever. And now, how do we identify noun clauses? We have three, we have here four steps to identify them. First, look for the dependent clause. Two, look for a question word to link the clauses. Three, check if you can add that as a subordinating word. Or replace with a noun the part that you think is the noun clause. Now we have here an easy, an easy example. I didn't understand what you said yesterday. What you said yesterday is a noun clause. And we can replace this group of words with a noun. So it can be like this. I didn't understand the point. The point point is making the function that uh, was making the noun clause here. 
So if you can replace the bar, it it means that it's a noun clause. So the conclusion, if you learn what is a clause, it will be easy for you to identify the kind of clause that you have in complex sentence. And also it's always important to know what function is making the dependent clause to support the main idea. So this is uh, something, this is something easy that you can learn just learning first what is a clause and then learning what is a dependent and independent clause and so on. That will be easy to identify what is an adverb clause and a noun clause. So I hope that you learned something interesting today and something useful for your grammar. See you the next time here in my channel. Bye bye.